Gottlieb Daimler was born on March 17, 1834, in Schorndorf in the Kingdom of Württemberg. After attending Latin school, he began an apprenticeship as a gunsmith, which he successfully completed in 1852. He then attended the Polytechnic School in Stuttgart, where he studied mechanical engineering. After his studies, Daimler gained practical experience in various machine factories, including in France and England, where he familiarized himself with the latest technical developments. In 1863, he returned to Germany and became technical director of the Reutlingen machine factory, where he met Wilhelm Maybach, who would later become his close collaborator and co-developer. In the 1870s, Daimler worked for the gas engine factory Deutz, where he collaborated with Nicholas Otto, the inventor of the four-stroke engine. Due to differences with Otto, Daimler left the company and together with Maybach, bought a villa in Cannstatt near Stuttgart in 1882, which they converted into a workshop. There, in 1883 and 84, they developed a small high-speed gasoline engine that they called the Standur, or clock, due to its appearance. This was the first engine that was light and powerful enough to be installed in vehicles. In 1885, Daimler and Maybach first installed this engine in a wooden bicycle, the so-called Reitwagen, the first motorcycle in the world. In 1886, they followed up with the first four-wheeled automobile equipped with a built-in internal combustion engine, a converted horse carriage. That same year, they also installed their engine in a boat, which is considered the birth of the motorboat. Daimler registered numerous patents and played a key role in the early development of motorized transportation. In 1890, he founded the Daimler Motoren Gesellschaft together with investors, but tensions with the financiers arose in the following years, leading to his temporary removal from the company in 1893. He returned to the board in 1895 at the urging of a British licensee. Daimler's engines were soon being used in vehicles around the world, including by Emil Jelinek, who later introduced the name Mercedes after his daughter as a brand name. Daimler himself only partially witnessed this global success, as he died on March 6, 1900 in Cannstatt, just days before his 66th birthday. His pioneering work laid the foundation for the modern automotive industry and led to the later merger of his company with that of Carl Benz. This union gave rise to Mercedes-Benz.